Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining this recording and in this demo I will show you how Netbook Security Groups works in Azure. So what I have done over here in this lab is that I have created a resource group which has got these resources. There are three VMs and three VMs are deployed in different individual subnets inside a single VNet. So I've got a VNet in this one and inside the VNet I'll just click over here. This is the VNet. So the subnets which are defined in this VNet are infra subnet, app subnet and db subnet and inside this subnet so it's slash 11 slash 11 slash 10 and so this subnet is defined in this vnet so what i've done is that i've created a network security group and in this network security group i first added these three subnets to the network security group <coughs> Now what I did is, I went into the inbound security rules and I said block IP communication from source 10 subnet 10.32 to 10.64. Now if I come over here and view this chart, so what I am actually saying is 10.32 is the app subnet and 10.64 is the DB subnet. So if I ping from app subnet to the DB subnet, it should not ping and let us try this hello everyone so we are back with the demo and right now what we will do is uh, I will check the IP of this one it's 64 and the IP of this one is 10.32 so the rule said that I cannot ping from 10.32 to 10.64 so I will do a ping 10.32 64.0.4 and we will see that it will not end. Now I will try the other way around as well. 10.32.0.4 and we will see that it's finished. So now this was the rule number one. Now if you come to the rule number two which is the outbound rule, we will see that I have blocked HTTP from uh, this virtual network so the virtual network is all my internal network so all any of my VMs defined cannot access the service on port 80 so if I go on this any VM and I try to access the internet from there so I will see that the internet will not Now what I can do on the other hand is, so the lower the priority the more honored the rule would be. So if I come over here from the network security group and I click on allow, the rule is being updated. Once it's updated, what I'll do is I'll go back on the virtual machine and then I'll try to access the internet again and see if it's working. So inbound rule is the rule which says that the traffic is coming. If I apply the inbound rule on a subnet, that means uh, it would check the subnet work first and then the VM. If I apply it on the outbound rule, it would first check on the VM, then the NIC card and then uh, the subnet. So when it's coming inside, it's the subnet, the NIC card, and then the virtual machine. Now the rule says allow. Now if I go back to any other VM, click on internet, and I 
try to access the internet and it works. So this was all about Network Security Group and I hope this was informative. Thank you for viewing this session. Hello everyone. So I wanted to concentrate on this scenario now where we have where I have created two outbound rules. One is HTTP block and if I move on this side it shows me that the priority is 100 the tag is destination internet the port is 80 so any traffic going from the virtual network to the internet on port 80 would be blocked and the action is denied now the second rule is for HTTP allow the only difference between these two rules is that one priority is 100 and the other is 200 so what I want to show is that one which has the priority of 100 would overtake uh, this one and one would have more priority on this one so the lowest number has the most priority so once the deny rule is hit it would not process the other rule now if I come on the internet come on this VM and I s click to see if the internet works so what I'll find out that the internet doesn't work now what I'll do is that I will change the priority of this rule which is 200 to 50. Now through this what I will achieve is ok so let me first change the priority of this rule to 1100 now I've changed the priority to 1100 and this remains 200 so it would automatically be so once this is 1100 then this would be 200 and now 200 should be given more priority and internet would start to should start to work so once this rule is updated over here I would see the number change now let me go over here let me click on the same link again now what I am expecting to see is that the website should open uh, let me open a new internet site And we can see that the website opens, but JavaScript is required, so it works. 